So it's another trip on the road this afternoon for Swifts in the Bostic North Division. The pitch has survived the turbulent weather conditions of the last few days and it is game on here. An unchanged starting 11 from the team that beat AFC Sudbury 2-0 last time out. A new sign-in, Emmanuel Uzi Awusu, takes his place on the Swifts bench. As for Felix Stone Walton United, they were 1-0 winners last time out against Great Waker in Rovers and they are 16 points behind Swifts in the table. Bright sunshine here today, although it's feeling a little cold. It's a bad error from Wilson, who just kicks the air instead of the ball. Maybe an opportunity now for a cross. Cross comes in and isn't dealt with, and still into the Swift's 18-yard box. Three header, and it's 1-0. The simplest of finishes from Jordan Matthews, just outside the six-yard box. It was a succession of errors, really, from Swift's early in this game. Inside the first three minutes, a free header and no chance for Haig. And it's 1-0 to the home side. A terrible start for Haybridge this afternoon. Ball with Price, what can he do? Lays it off inside to Ronto many options for him goes back out wide and now a chance for delivery into the box it goes towards price real chance now on the line and the referee has stopped play i assume for a foul on the keeper let's have another look at this it didn't seem to be much in it. it was a really good block actually home side come forward once again and again they've found space on the far side into the box very similar to that opening goal and this time it's Wilson who just intercepts at the near post I'm sure Julian Dix will be concerned by how Felix Stowe got through in comes the corner towards the back post another header and it's 2-0 Josh Kerridge this time on the back post and Felix Stowe and Walton United are making it look really easy this afternoon just got away from Ronto, his marker, and tucked the ball home. But that ball travelled a long way, and it's 2-0. Still, the sun shines brightly, but that's about all the light there is for Swifts in this performance so far. And it goes to the box towards Walker, who could have just lifted a bit of the gloom off the performance. Goes wide, good effort. movement from Chris Nicky. Miller turns and plays it back to Chris Nicky who has the shot and bounces off everybody maybe comes to Price still in the box chance for Walker really well defended there were four or five bodies in the way goes down as a half chance no way through there great defending bodies literally on the line High ball into the box, bouncing around, and it's clear the referee has said there is it's a penalty, and it points to his hand. Handball wasn't clear and obvious from the first viewing, but let's have another look. Oh, I think you know what, a tad unlucky there, but it is a penalty, and it will be Kresnicki to get Haybridge back into this game. Steps up, and it's saved from the keeper, and the rebound goes wide much to the delight of Jack Sperling it was a fine save not the best penalty low down just too close to the keeper and it remains 2-0 to the home side high kick downfield really well controlled there by Ainsley who's done ever so well and there's a chance now just to lay it inside, plenty of space. Felix though looking dangerous, Krasnicki just about manages to clear, but still it's back in towards the Swifts box, and oh my goodness me, it's 3-0, and it was an absolute gift. They just couldn't clear the ball. It came back into the box, and a real mess up there between Morgan and Haig has allowed Reese Henry just to tuck the ball home. And that's when you know 
it's not your afternoon. It's going to finish 3-0 to the home side. So Julian, uh, quite a tough game. Um, we took on uh, quite a lot of chances, um, but it seemed like Felix though took more clinical with their chances that they had. Well, in the first half they were the better side. Um, we didn't particularly play well in the first half, but again, we were given goals away like that. They had three opportunities first half, scored two goals. Not acceptable from my point. Um, there's a penalty take that we had, didn't miss that chance. Yeah, you're right, people miss penalties, I understand that. Again, we can't, can't complain about just a penalty miss. We want good enough all over the park, so we end up getting beat. Um, two of their goals, two crosses coming in. Um, were that down to defensive errors? Or? Of course, yeah. They had first half, they had put three balls in the box, they scored two goals. Defensively, we want good enough as a team again. Um, we go again Tuesday. We've got Buzz on Tuesday. It'll be another tough game for us, so we'll see how it goes. Um, half time, try to change it up, brought on Manny. Um, do you think later on, when he more experience of the team, can give more chances going forwards? Well, it will do, yeah, because things will change. Because for me, that's not acceptable. Today's game wasn't acceptable. Hey, nothing away. Felix, so nothing at all. But from my point of view, wasn't good enough.